Hi everybody, Ellen here. Today I'm going to do the if you like this, then you'll like this. And you may have seen other booktubers do this, so you might know what it's all about, but I'll tell you anyways if you don't know. Um, so it's pretty much that I will show a book and describe what it's all about, and then I'll try to find another book that you might like. If you read the first book and really liked that one, then you can read the second book. And you might like that one as well. That's like the worst description ever, but we're gonna go with that. You'll understand when we get started. So yeah, I'm going to show you uh, some books with you guys, and I hope you get some ideas. So the first one probably a lot of people have heard about, and that is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, and this is about Kath, and she and her twin sister Ren starts university and Kath writes a lot of um, fan fiction uh, for Simon Snow which is this sort of Harry Potter sort of character you know for a on a, that goes to a magic school and everything and she li writes fan fiction about that and uh, she loves doing so and I feel like a lot of people have read this one and a lot of people probably liked it I know I did and I feel like if you like this book then you might like this book. And this is Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Sapia. And this book is about Eliza. And she really likes to do this um, kind of comic strip thing that she does online. Um, the thing is that, ouchie, she is anonymous and nobody knows who she is. But you get a lot of like um, illustrations and things in this one. And then we also meet um, Wallace, and he starts. He transferred to the same school as um, Eliza, and he actually writes fan fiction for Eliza's comic. Um, so he does his own comic strip that revolves about the same characters, and he doesn't know that Eliza is the one writing um, this comic book. So they become friends, and. Um, she goes down when it comes out who is actually the creator of the original um, kind of comic. So if you like reading a, a book that's about reading really <laughs> um, and a lot of different plot twists at the same time uh, then I really feel like if you like Fangirl you'll like Eliza and the monsters and if you like cats you'll like this one. Yes. This one is a little bit crazy right now she likes to play with my blinds and everything like that so if you hear, hear any noises, it's probably coming from her. But we're gonna calm down now, aren't we? So, for you guys who have read Alice Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, um, which is a children's classic, you probably all know what it's about because Alice, she goes down uh, in this rabbit hole after the rabbit, and <laughs> she comes to Wonderland, which is this very magical, whimsical place where she meets um, the Queen of Hearts and a lot of different characters and there's so much whimsy happening all the time and as you and as you may have noticed if you follow my channel or follow my blog uh, or you know Instagram or you know anywhere <laughs> then you might know that I freaking love this book so of course I have to have this book in this video because you might know need to know what else to read so I feel like if you like Alice Adventures in Wonderland you might like furthermore by Tahara Mafi <laughs> Gloss in my knees. Ouchie. Anyways, um, but this is about the character, the main character is also named Alice, for, funny enough. Um, but this is about Alice, and she lives in this very magical and whimsical world as well, which is why I feel like um, this is a perfect match for Alice in Wonderland fans. And in this world she lives in, everything is very colorful, and that pretty much tells you how much magic this thing or person possess and um, as you may see on the cover Alice has no magic is completely white except for her eyes which are brown and uh, she's supposed to do this test um, along with all the other children that are 13 or something like that I believe and they're supposed to tr figure out how much magic these kids possesses and um, yeah it doesn't really go as planned and then Alice actually decides to go f searching for her father who's been missing for like two or three years or something like that so she goes on this adventure 
and it's so magical and whimsical and the like she goes to furthermore and it's so magical and so many different rules who she fails to like live up after and it's just so amazing and I really love this book so I really do feel like if you like the magical and whimsical Alice in Wonderland then you love the magical and whimsical furthermore so definitely check these books out and if you like Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling which everybody knows what it is about because magic school magical powers magical creatures pretty much awesomeness then you might like might might like might like uh, Magisterium by Cassandra Clare and Holly Black and this one you meet Callum and he's learned his entire life that um, this school is not good for you they're trying to use you and it's dangerous and everything like that and he when he comes of age and all the other kids as well if they have magical powers they be called in to do different tasks to see if they are you know magical <laughs> and figure out if they're allowed to go to magisterium which is this um magic school <laughs> i used to work magic a lot don't i so callum has to get with his father decided that he's supposed to fail on all of these testers um so he doesn't actually have to go to this school since it's so dangerous but he actually fails at failing so it's actually admitted to the school anyways and then a shit lot of things happen and it has definitely a lot of interesting plot twists so if you like the magical world of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone then you might like this book and if you like Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas which is about Selena Sardathian who is an assassin in this working camp She's pretty much in this work camp where she's been put since they figured out who she was and the fact that she's been killing a lot of people. And Prince Dorian comes um, to get her out of there uh, because he wants her to be his um, champion to become the king's uh, personal assassin. And there's pretty much a competition about becoming the king's assassin and Selene has to fight against a lot of different uh, kind of criminals really um, to win this position. So yeah, this is about assassins and kick-ass characters, a lot of kick-ass female characters. I feel like if you like this book, then you might like Nevernight by Jay Kristoff because this is also about assassins, but a very different kind of concept. Um, so in this one we meet Mia and her family was killed because um, her father's treason people find out about it really and he was killed along with the rest of the family and Mia uh, managed to escape at this point when she was a kid and now she's joining the Red Church which is this pretty much a school to learn how to become an assassin and they have to go through a lot of different tests to be admitted at this school and you know become a full-fledged assassin really um, these two evolve around the same subject, which is assassin, but also key gas female characters and very eventful things, really. And um, at the same time, they're very different. This by Marissa Meyer. And this one is about um, Queen of Hearts, but it is before she became Queen of Hearts. So she is still this girl called Catherine, and she wants to open this bakery together with her friend. And she just wants to make lemon tarts, but that's not what her parents want, and that's not what the king wants, because they all want her to marry the king. And this story sort of revolves around um, how um, Catherine became the Queen of Hearts, but also how the Queen of Hearts became so cruel and, you know, the whole off with their heads dilemma. But I feel like if you like Heartless by Marissa Meyer, then you might like Splinter by A.G. Howard because this is also a retelling of Alice in Wonderland follow Alice in Wonderland's relatives uh, a few generations later so you follow Alyssa and um, she and her mother sort of have these magical powers you know that they can hear what the plants and animals are thinking and you know they talk to them really and it's very magical and whimsical so this one is pretty much before Alice in Wonderland and then we have the Splinter which is pretty much after Alice in Wonderland and uh, Alice is sort of find out that this 
um, family curse, which is that the fact that you can hear the plants and animals talk to you, and that leads to me <laughs> leads to you uh, becoming insane. And her mother is put in this um, kind of um, mental hospital uh, because of that, and that's sort of where she sees herself in a couple of years, and she obviously don't want to get at the, that point. Um, so she tries to figure out some clues and find out how they she can break this curse really so she has to go to Wonderland and she needs to um, figure out how to beat a, a couple of different tests so she has to like swim through uh, the sea of tears so if you have read Alice in Wonderland you know what I'm talking about the sea of tears just to get through that and a lot of different things that you might recognize from the original story as well um, which makes this an awesome story because there's so many real references and I love that and the same goes for Heartless of course because you do meet the Mad Hatter um, and a lot of different characters and different references to the original story so I feel like if you like Heartless you might like Splintered. The last book I'm going to talk about today is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. It's a retelling of Cinderella. So Cinder, she lives with her stepmother and her stepsisters and she's this mechanic so she works at this um, market really uh, where she mends a lot of things and she's pretty darn kick-ass and also she's a cyborg so she, she is, you know, parts of her are human and then there's parts of her that sort of more robot parts which makes her a cyborg and she has really cool abilities because of that um, but as you know from the original story of Cinderella um, Cinder goes to the castle for this pro not prom <laughs> for this ball and uh, she meets the prince she loses her not shoe in this case but her leg um, so yeah that causes a lot of problems and everything like that and it's really awesome and this of course is a sci-fi story but then we also have the diabolic by sj kincaid which is also a sci-fi story and we have a nemesis who's a diabolic and that's sort of like a robot kind of thing but they're a little bit more human in the ways than robots really and she is programmed to like do everything she can to um, protect her charge really and that is Sidonia and there's a lot of problems um, comes up because her father is um, playing this rebellion against the king and they find out about it and they demand that Sidonia uh, is sent to the castle so they can keep track of her and pretty much you know scare her um, parents so that they will behave and everything like that uh, but instead of sending Sidonia because that's their only kid they do send Nemesis and um, she is changed um, they change her looks and everything like that and they teach her to be more human and feel stuff like that um, so that people would think that she is Sidonia so she looks exactly like her and everything like that and then she goes to the castle and a lot of shit happens so in both of these books there's sci-fi there's royalty and there's different a lot of like really cool um technology uh since it's a little bit more futuristic really and you know cyborgs diabolics it's a perfect match and i loved both of these books so i definitely think it's you know if you read one of them then you should read the other one as well so those were all of my sorts of recommendations for if you like this then you like this. Um, I thought this was a really fun video to make and I've been wanting to do it for quite some time. So please let me know down in the comments or by clicking like if you like this video of course. And um, also don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the bell button down below. And yeah, don't forget to click the bell icon so that you're sure that you get notifications for when I do upload new videos because I've noticed that a lot of people actually misses that so please don't forget to click the little bell icon and yeah I hope we see each other next time bye